are some of the earliest memories that you have? You were actually there, and there's not many people left that were there at the very beginning That's of true. One Kingdom or That's World true. Radio. So what do you remember? That How did that get started? Well, Bill had just graduated from Harding. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> he and John Barry Hill were interested in taking the gospel to Africa. Okay. And... Uh, they went to different churches around this area to raise funds mm. to do that. And we came here uh, to raise funds and the elders said, well, if you would work with us during the week, you can have the weekends to go and raise funds wherever you want to. And so that's what, how that happened. But uh, I was like this, <laughs> but it was a good experience. We never got, I never got to Africa. He did. Yeah. Okay. He went to Africa yeah. uh, on missions. But anyway. And so, so when did the discussions begin about uh, trying to do radio ministry? How did that come about? Well, he went to uh, a place, I think it was in Michigan. In Detroit, maybe? I think it was Detroit, to speak up there mm -hmm. and uh, someone said what about radio you know it, everybody's got a little transistor radio right. and if we could get on stations uh and get the gospel through that medium yeah. we could touch a lot of lives wow Kim, what do you remember? Do you remember much? You know, I just remember um, I, this started when I was I was but a child. Yeah. <laughs> I was so young. Yeah. Really, when we moved here, I was only four months old. And so oh, that wow. was 1963. <clears throat> okay. So I, I was yeah. not even aware. I just lived in my own little Kim world yeah. while dad and mom. And I remember mother would come and do help. She would she would volunteer um, with the One Kingdom letters. And, you know, in those days, you had these big metal plates and oh, this huge machine and she would go volunteer and do that kind of and we would have uh, a lady would come sit with us and and uh, while well, mother helped dad yeah. in that area yeah. but um it was i don't ever remember dad being more excited about anything mm. than the whole concept of what world radio is mm. right what was it that you saw in your mom and dad that you said i want that in my life there was no compromise on on who Jesus was. Wow. There was no um, you're not you can certainly think outside the box and question. <laughs> Dad never minded me or my sisters ever reminded us asking questions that were uh, maybe even contrary to what was being taught. Right. Um, so we had an open conversation always. And I think that's how we raised my, my husband, Paul, and I raised our boys. Yeah. You know, we, we set the foundation through Jesus and then allowed the conversations to happen because sometimes, especially when you're young, you may not understand something. Mother and daddy always allowed that with us. Yeah. Um, and so there was always um, there was always a love behind the answers, whether we would agree with each other or not, there was always love behind the answers. And I did not want to veer from that because that is really the perfect way That's to raise right. children. Well, in our world now, um, unless you have a very firm why, uh, I believe what I believe, mm -hmm. you're going to be challenged in ways uh, in this culture That's you true. better have a strong understanding so asking the question why yes. is very important well, i'm gonna ask one more question i know you're loving doing this margaret so <laughs> i'm gonna try to end it as <laughs> quick as possible <laughs> well this is the question i want to do what is it like to see your children walking in the faith it's it's the best thing that a mother or dad could have mm. to know what's the scripture to know that your children are walking in faith mm. with the Lord. Yeah. Makes you proud. It does. Yeah. That's great. And I've lost one recently, well, but sorry, she's yeah. in heaven. That's right. That's, that's, so we're looking forward to seeing her. That's right. Right around the corner. Well, I appreciate you coming and do this. I know it was a, a little bit convenient, but uh, thank you. And we love you. Thank you for having thank us. You.